yesterday when I shot that video, um, I didn't figure that I was going to get all the questions, or actually I knew I would, um, and I'm going to try to answer some of them now, and this is sort of going to be a response to the video I just put up last night, so I've got a little time today, and uh, I'll do my best to get this together for you. One of the questions is about hail. Um, are these susceptible to hail? Uh, they're about as susceptible as the windshield of your car. So if you get a hail storm big enough to take out your solar panels, uh, it's going to be a doozy. Uh, plus, once your solar panels are actually a permanent fixture on your house, they're covered by your homeowners. And shit. Now this system is a uh, dual purpose system. Um, it actually is a grid tie slash battery backup system. So right now the uh, main array is putting out 918 watts. You know, at 35 amps, 24 volt DC, and uh, it's selling 600 watts back to the grid, and it's using 100 plus, and uh, that way I don't have to exercise my batteries, and my batteries will last a really long time. I'm also going to recommend uh, you guys who are really interested in this to go to my channel and look at all my videos, or, or not, you know, watch them all, but find the ones. There's one about uh, solar for the prepper. Uh, that was like a beginner video I did, and then there's also a series of videos uh, called Building Your Own Solar, and that was a uh, setup I did for a friend of mine, and um, I'll, uh, I'll try to uh, put in the uh, description box about how much money uh, he had in, in that system uh, without the labor. I also had a question about heating water. Um, my wind turbine does the water heating and so does uh, the 12 volt array that you can see that light is on steady there. Uh, it's actually diverting uh, any of the solar energy into a uh, heating element in my water heater and then the wind turbine when it goes into diversion load instead of heating this air heater it'll actually do the, wa the water heater as well. But for the main part uh, my geothermal heat pump does the uh, water heating for me every day. Of course this doesn't matter in a long term power outage. but. Uh, this is the way I uh, heat my water for the most part. Another question I got is uh, what are the best batteries to use? Uh, that depends on your budget. Uh, the most cost effective batteries to use are golf cart batteries because they are true deep cycle batteries and they are designed to uh, be pulled all the way down and pumped right back up on a daily basis. And uh, these can be bought for somewhere you know, around $120 to $140 a piece. Now if you've got a big budget to play with uh, some of your specialized batteries like these uh, Concord Sun Extenders. Um, these are AGM batteries, they're sealed, so they don't have to be uh, put into a box and vented outside. Uh, they can be put anywhere. <clears throat> but these, uh, these batteries are really going to kick you in the pocketbook. Uh, these batteries here are about $300 a piece. So, uh, you know, it's, it just depends on what you can afford. Now, my system is not a great example of how much does it cost to do solar because uh, this has all been put together for years and years and, and there's a little more here than you would actually need to do you know a decent system. This one here I imagine I've got somewhere around 16,000 in it and after federal tax credit and state tax credit uh, you can take 53 percent off of that so out of pocket I've got about 7,000 in this whole system which isn't bad I mean you know for what it does a uh, better example would be like Mike's system. That's the other series of video, videos I did. Um, I want to say he's got about 8,000 in that one and got uh, just over four grand back. So I think he's got just under 4,000 in his system. Now I think the best place to get this stuff from is a place called sunelect.com and they're in Miami, Florida and I believe they have a place in Arizona as well. Uh, solar panels have gotten a lot cheaper. Uh, one of the reasons is, you know, it got really popular until the government started shoving it down people's throats. And then it got less popular, except for with us people who like that backup power. So uh, it works for us, and plus the government has said it's great. And uh, I'll surely take the money because they have no problem taking it from me. Now this is a DC freezer made by uh, <coughs> Sundancer. And um, this thing was like twelve or fourteen hundred dollars, and uh, it's pretty darn awesome because it'll run off the 12 or the 24 volt battery bank and uh, for some reason it does not fall into tax credit and I have no re no idea why uh, it won't work without the solar or the batteries so I don't understand why it's not part of the system 
Another question I got was uh, about information on solar. This uh, this is probably one of the best ones I've ever found. Um, I think I found this one on eBay. You can see there's an eBay address there. It's uh, www.stores.ebay.com slash solar energy quest. You can try that and see if you can find one. And I believe this book is actually made by AEE Solar. So uh, if you can find... Uh, this one, this one's great. This one's got all the charts in it for sizing your system, uh, all the different components you can look at. The prices are awful in here, but it's just a great uh, source of information on how to set things up and, and the whole work. So I hope you can find that, and if I find a more solid link, I'll try to let you know. Also, I got a lot of comments about running air conditioning. Um, you're going to have to have a mega system to run air conditioning. Uh, this system here pretty much is about the right size for everything that I want to do and that's just lighting, refrigeration, um, things like that, although there are a lot of refrigerators, but uh, you know, check out my other videos, that's the first thing I'd recommend you doing, uh, try to find that book and, and look at everybody's systems on uh, YouTube, uh, you can tell if somebody really doesn't know what they're doing, you can tell whether somebody knows a little bit about it, like I do, I know just a little bit. Um, and no matter what size system you have, it's awesome. It's fun and it's also a good learning experience. So uh, I hope that was helpful and I hope that answered some of your questions. And uh, you guys have a great day and uh, we'll see you next time.